there's one thing we all love is a nice juicy cheeseburger. This is comfort food and we can make it at very affordable price. But today I'm gonna try to take the humble cheeseburger to a whole different level and that is by doing three different ones at three different prices. And by the end of this video we're really gonna find out if it's really worth spending that much money on a regular cheeseburger. This is cooking three different cheeseburgers at three different prices to find out which one is best. So let's do it. We start off with ground beef, the cheapest one you can find. This one happens to be 73% lean and 27% fat. By no means is this the best ground beef there is, but hey, it is cheap. And as you can see, it's already grounded up and all you have to do is start making your balls. I like to keep them anywhere between two and a half ounces to three. For me, that's the perfect ratio for the smash burger. I also recommend using parchment paper because it makes the job a lot easier. For the sauce, it is one of the easiest thing to do. In a bowl, throw in some mayo, followed by ketchup, yellow mustard, and sweet relish. Now mix it well and your sauce is done. It does not get any easier than that. The next ingredient is a good old American cheese. I know a lot of you don't enjoy it, but let me tell you something. For this burger, it works. And I would not replace it with anything else. For the buns, you can really use any one you like. But since we're going cheap, these are the cheapest one I could find. If I'm not mistaken, I think I paid $2 for 8 of them. As you can see, it's just a good old plain hamburger bun. Our next cheeseburger is way more expensive, but at the same time, it is something to experience. If you have been watching my channel for a while, you know I love dry age. It is one of the best things you can do with meat. Taking a regular piece of meat and dry aging makes it better. And taking a great piece of meat and dry aging that, it's just a whole different level. And with all that being said, this is what I did for my second burger. I'm gonna be using this beautiful 35 days dry age ribeye. And even though this is gonna go in a dry age cheese burger, the first thing we need to do is remove the pellicles. That has a very strong pronounced flavor. Now you don't want to throw that away. If I was doing a regular cheeseburger, that would be a perfect thing to throw into the mix. But since this one is 100% dry aged already, there is no need for the pellicles. After slicing them open, I decided to go to an even a higher level, which is to remove the connective tissue and silver skin. That will make sure that my burger is absolutely amazing. Using my meat grinder in the lowest setting, I started to grind it up. Always remember to keep your meat as cold as possible, including your grinder. But once I was done with the grinding, this is what it looks like. If you compare this one to the pre-grind one I've just showed you previously, there is no comparison. It's already 10 times better. Now the only thing left to do is to make my patties, put it on the parchment paper and they are ready to go. Even though the previous burger has a bigger fat to ratio mix, I think this one is going to be so good that I won't be adding any additional fat. For the sauce, I also decided to do something special. So I started off with a little bit of mayo, followed by Worcestershire sauce, Louisiana hot sauce, garlic powder, powder and freshly ground black pepper. Now mix it well and your sauce is done. And of course we're not going to use American cheese. So with this one I went up to provolone. And for the buns I'm going to be using my favorite which is brioche. I've already shown how to make these buns yourself at home and if you have not seen that video make sure you check it out in the description down below. They are easy to make and like I said it is my favorite. Now moving on to the most expensive of them all, I am going to be using Wagyu. Yes my friends, this is the best of the best. If you never had a Wagyu steak before, I definitely recommend you giving it a try before you even think about trying a cheeseburger. Always eat Wagyu as a steak. Then you can move on to crazy things like I'm doing. I'm not even sure if I should. But hey, at least I'll be doing this so that you don't have to do it at home. After I slice it in strip, check this out. It's like the Picasso of beef. To me, the perfect ratio of fat and beef together. So I got my meat grinder and started the process. And right at this point I was second guessing myself. But hey, there's only one way to find out if it's gonna be good. But once I was done with all the grinding, this is what I got. That is the most expensive ground beef you will ever see. And it is still to be determined if I made a huge mistake or not. As you can tell, I'm having self doubts. But moving on to the next step and it's pretty straightforward. We just gotta make our patties, put it on our parchment paper and it will be ready to go. I'll tell you one thing, you better be quick because the fat starts melting in your hands. Even though it looks like regular ground beef, trust me, it is not. If you're ever gonna do this, you will notice a huge difference. It just melts. Now moving on to the sauce. And of course, we gotta make it special. Instead of using regular mayo, I'm using Japanese mayo. It tastes different and I like it. The next ingredient is a very special Brazilian hot sauce. This one, friends, is not that expensive, but the taste is very good, but it's also very spicy. So beware. And this is ketchup mayonnaise. It is basically sweet soy sauce. To put the sauce together, I first started with the Japanese mayo, followed by ketchup menace, and finished it off with the Brazilian hot sauce. Now mix it well and your sauce is done. This one has a very mature taste. Now let's talk about cheese. I'm gonna be using 
three different kinds. And the first cheese is Brie. It's a soft cheese that has a very unique taste. And of course, the second one is Parmigiano Reggiano, the real deal. And finally, an aged Gruyere. Combining all these cheese together should make a wonderful sauce. I first started off by slicing the Brie. A lot of people don't like to keep the outer edges, but I say as far as sauce is absolutely fine. For the other two, I just grated them. To make the sauce is extremely easy. I started with a little bit of butter. You want to keep it under low heat to melt the butter slowly. Then I threw in all of the cheeses. Keep under medium low heat until all of the cheeses has melted. And by the time you're done, you should have an amazing and incredible cheese sauce. But now that you've seen me making all the prep and we have everything ready, I say it is enough talking and it is time to make some incredible cheeseburgers. So let's do it. All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful burgers. Andrew, what do you think? I haven't had a burger in a while. I know, right? It, 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 cheeseburgers, everybody. It, it, cheeseburgers, isn't cheeseburger like the king of all burgers? Yeah. Yeah, cheeseburgers is the king. Because I know you don't like lettuce, tomatoes, and all that stuff, yeah? Yeah, that stuff is boring. <laughs> yeah, that stuff is just boring. All right, with all that being said, I say enough talking, let's give it a try. Is this one a smash burger? Because it looks like two patties here. That's right. You already know every time there's two patties, this is my smash burger. Huh? <laughs> I love the smash burger. Smash burger. This one changed my life, everybody. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. You should put the link up here for them. That's right. If you have not seen that video, make sure you check it out. There's not a lot to say. This is a perfect burger for every single scenario. It's quick and easy. Bro. Quick and easy, cheap, affordable. Make this every single day. Well, maybe not every day because that might not be healthy. Your doctor might be mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> that one is perfect. We know. I agree. It. We know that, that one's good. That one's amazing. If you never had a smash burger done correctly, everybody, make sure you check it out. All right, I'm excited to try the second one. You ready? By the way, it's Angel's birthday today. Happy birthday, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Getting older, huh? No, I'm getting younger, actually. <laughs> All right, let's go to the second one. Completely different experience. A mature taste. What's that face, Angel? It's a mature taste, right? It's like, the, this one here is for kids. This one, you're grown up. You're dressed nicely. Maybe a, a little wine or something, or a nice expensive beer. You know what I'm saying? What do okay. you think? Dry it. <laughs> <laughs> that's my nephew that was easy that's dry age but you could tell yeah oh right away oh you could 100 percent. yeah and the thing it that i did have that that funk right right right. right. this is a mature burger everybody that's all i can say this the burger came with a suit and a tie i get <laughs> it i get it i get it i don't know which one is better you which one do you like I'm, better you like I'm this like, one or, 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 or i like saving space because i usually <laughs> i i know that usually expensive <laughs> it goes hand in hand with a few things that I know. <laughs> and I'm a little bit excited for that one, bro. <laughs> All right. Without our further ado, you ready for the last one? Let's do it. Let's do it. Cheers, Cheers. everybody. <laughs> you can tell what that is right away. How would you describe this one? Wagyu. Wagyu. <laughs> what else would you describe? That's all you're going to say? Huh? It's Wagyu. <laughs> so here's the deal. This is an occasion burger, I would say. You know what I mean? When you want to treat yourself yeah. and you say, you know what? 
I deserve it. I this, work hard. You can't have it every Sunday. No, now you crazy. Your pockets will not handle it. Your pockets will go this, down the drain. This you have like maybe once a year, maybe once every six months. This is like range. exactly. Yeah, yeah, this this is one amazing, is no. speaking to you and saying like it is time for you to treat yourself. That's when you have a burger like this because this is an experience on itself. My biggest issue is I love the smash burger. I love the dry aged burger. And I love the Wagyu burger. Which one do you like better? What do you mean? You can't pick a winner? No. Why not? It's such a different kind of burger each time. Yeah. That is just like you can't really give it a winner. Like this I get what you're saying. I 100% agree with Angel. You can't pick a winner because they're so different with each other. So it's like an occasion. You want to treat yourself? You have the Wagyu burger, everybody. You want to taste something completely different that you've never tasted before? Try the dry aged burger. You want to have something for a lot of family members to be nice and happy? You make that smash burger. I'm telling you, either one will make anybody happy. Anyway, guys, huh. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.